Reporting Scotland understands that more than 100 people in Scotland have offered to fight in the Ukrainian army. The volunteers include Joe Stirling from Edinburgh, who says he wants to lend his skills as a former British soldier. Ukraine is appealing for international fighters as the war with Russia intensifies. The First Minister, Nicola Sturgeon, is warning those without military training not to join the fight. Here's our political editor, Glenn Campbell. Well, just as some people contemplate going to Ukraine, hundreds of thousands are trying to get out. Among them, Scots who've made their lives there. Tonight, we hear from Ken Stewart from Edinburgh. Katrina Renton. Katrina Renton speaking to Ken Stewart, a Scot who's now left Ukraine. Now, to the day's other news now. And no one under 18 should be put in jail in Scotland, according to the Chief, asking for an end to the imprisonment of 16 and 17-year-olds by the end of March. The Scottish Government said it's actively looking at the proposal. Our correspondent Lucy Adams has more. It was a 22-year battle over the ownership of a Victorian castle in Argyle. And today, the owners were finally evicted. It all started with a disputed bill for £230. Tonight, Nocturne Castle lies empty on the shores of Loch Long. Chris Clements is the story. OK, now let's get the weather with Chris. And you did warn us, but things changed a bit today, didn't they? Didn't they just? Yes, <laughs> after that sunshine yesterday, rather grey sky. OK, thanks, Chris. Now, tonight's main news across the country. Do have a very good evening. Good night.